Hello, everyone. Oh, yeah, freaking program. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Ghost Wolf Alpha back again with another stream tonight. How are you all doing tonight, chat? I hope you're all doing well. If not, well, I hope this helps cheer you up. The stream, that is. Anyway, tonight, Tuesday, today is Tuesday, August 6th of 2024. And today's game I chose is Star Trek Online. Well, since I can't exactly do the whole swapping around between um, Fallout Tale 2 Wastelands and Star Trek Online because of everything with Battletech Advanced 362 right this second. Have to wait for it to get an update because it breaks with the saves. <laughs> anyway, where we last lef le left off was we basically fought... Um, we basically fought our, fought some people, actually fought some Vodwar, did a little bit of sneaking around, and then also created an alliance. Now we're now we're going to be be continuing off the off the Delta Quadrant storyline, and I think the next one is going to be inciting some chaos amongst the Vodwar. You know, expose that whole bluegill thing. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? Oh, I also... Also some good... Some news on the whole... One second, let me just... Do this. I got... got I found some stuff offline... In order to upgrade my... My captain here. As you can see, he's now had elite training, which means open up kit module and device slot there, and then under traits, unlock the last ones there, so they're now full. Also, in the reputation, I got everything up, everything except, of course, Discovery Legends. That has to be a a big slog to get to tier six, but I got up to tier five and all the other stuff, and I bought the which I got the final bit that I want for the for the shields, which is the Iconian Resistance Resilient Shield Array, and of course all my stuff is um ultra. Ultra rare for that, and because it's because I was beforehand with tier five being the cap at that time. But yeah, I also well, where are you? I also because of that and having a whole bunch of. I'll just simply show you having a whole bunch of reputation voucher dilithium. I was able to get uh, for my character the ga or see, the gamma oh, dang it, the gamma concentrated concentrated or concerted ar armaments. As you can see, shield, armor, ground weapon, which is a pulse wave. Oh, one second, everyone. Ch okay, I have to get. The get this up. Sorry, it's my second monitor. I have have to fix certain things because well, normally how I have it set up, it's two separate things. It's just a just standard computer to act just so I can see bitrate and all that. And it's just right now borked. Looking at Stream Manager. Are you going to cooperate now? Or do I have to break out Space Desk and use use the Yep, I'm going to have to use Space Desk as a second monitor. I mean, everything else is fine, but not that. So, okay, view. Okay, get you up and running. Yeah, there we go. Hold on. Okay, get you back up. There we go. Uh, 
make it full screen, which means I can't exactly alt tab or anything because of certain things. Open up the dashboard in my in my other computer, in my web browser, and bring it on over. There, that works. I'll get some music going while I'm at it. Let's go with 2000s rock anthems. And back to the game we go. Oh, I also... Because I did some looking around, decided to go swap out my normal torpedo, which is this radiant quantum torpedo that I just messed around with, and got a enhanced biomolecular photon torpedo launcher. Real good against the Undine. Anyway, let's begin this. Begin this this mission, which is rev Revolution. Okay. Captain will be inhaled by both Voyager and Commander Eldex's ship. Open a channel to both. Greetings. Admiral Tuvok has requested I assist you for the duration of this mission. Admiral Tuvok understands this may upset Eldex, so I shall be the only one who aids you. Voyager will maintain its distance. Understood. I am ready for transport. Understood. Transporting you now. Let's go over the point of this operation. Gaul has called all available supremacy leaders to Cartella. I do not know how many of my people are infected with those creatures we saw there, but I'm sure there is more than one. <coughs> we need Excuse to me? expose them for the abominations they are. And that's why we're here at a Herojan communications array. You want to use it to broadcast the proof to the rest of the Vodwar? The supremacy is keeping a tight control on all subspace transmissions. We'll need control of the array to broadcast what we find on Cartella to not only my people, but the entire quadrant. To control the array, we need to control one of the Herogen ships. Make sure to leave the one I have marked reasonably intact. Leave one ship intact, understood. that intruding Vaudois ships you have trespassed in Herogen space yeah we're just here for the array back off and you won't get hurt this is our space and this is our array no trades no compromises no mercy well, shields up. <laughs> there. Oh, I also got these um polymorphic probe array stuff, or is a console? Yeah, I got this one from Epic Games. They have this, like, hidden promo thing. That's also how, where I got the whole Captain upgrade here. But you can also get these in lock boxes, but when you use them, when you equip them, they are equipped to the... Sh equipped to the... They are bound to the character. While my... See, while the 
We need to board the well, this one is... ship and take the communications console on the bridge. I can use that to take control of the array. Okay, anyway, as I was saying, but this is bound to count, account as you can see. That means I can transfer it around. Okay, understood. Boarding board the high rotor ship, get the com, get the comms console, and get out. I have extensive experience with these systems. I will beam down to aid in the operation of the Hirogen ship. Are you ready to proceed? Let's go. I'll have Tarsi with me. Come on, game. Load up. You know, I must say using the using Space Desk as a second monitor, it the uh usually using the sec using my laptop as a second monitor for my main computer through Space Desk, right now it's a bit blurry on the on that. Mainly I think I got the stuff we all set the wrong. Communications console intact. Whatever else happens is of no concern to me. Okay. We must first disconnect the console from the ship's data network. Disconnect the data network hub. We also need the isolinear storage assembly. It will be behind a locked door on the bridge. Let I mean, just... Disconnect the isolinear storage assembly. And... Disconnect the primary EPS conduit. And... Disconnect the console. Transporter standing by. Transport complete. We have the console. There is no way the Vaudoir will allow a Starfleet vessel into our space, and Cartella defenses have been upgraded since your last trick with the hollow projector. <laughs> Take one of the ships in my fleet and send yours away. You can contact it once we've completed our mission. I will beam over some of your crew to assist you when we get to our destination. Okay. There we go, have my ship fuck off. We'll scuttle the Herogen ship so they won't know the console is missing. Then we can continue on to Cartella for the meeting. Understood. I've loaned I'm picking up an Not incoming Benthan vessel on long-range sensors. Our ships are out of range, and we are in a Vaudoir vessel. It is unlikely the Benthans will give us a chance to explain the situation. Perhaps we can warn them away from the area? They are not altering course. Disabling their vessel may be the only option. Try to hail them, audio only. Attention, Vaudoir vessels. You are in violation of several codes of conduct in this area of space, and your ships have been identified as perpetrators of crimes against the Benthan Guard and its protectorates. Shields up! They cannot escape this system! There is no need to destroy that ship. I agree with you! Right now, I'm trying to disable it. Oh. You may have a quarrel with the Benthans, Eldix. We do not. Wait till red alert's over and. I've speak. jammed the Benthan ship's communications so they the can't signal for help. You know what needs to be done. No one can know what happened here. You can't be suggesting what I think you're suggesting. Suggesting, yeah, ah, weird. 
got some got some in my mouth. One second, everyone. Let me mute. Okay, that's better. Sorry, there's a so sorry about that. Anyway, you can't be suggesting what I think you're suggest suggesting. Unacceptable. The Benthans are performing their assigned duties and have no way of knowing who or what we are. Sensors are detecting damage to the ship's long-range communications array. It will be days before they can restore warp power or send out a signal. We can leave now, complete our mission, and then return later to assist the Benthans. Sounds reasonable. We're not at war with the Benthans. That's not a risk I'm willing to take. They're in range of the Herogen Array. They could tap it to send out a call for help, or disable our modifications. The Herogen could return and discover what happened. And if another Vaudwar fleet finds them, there will be questions none of us want to answer. The Benthans must be silenced. You know, I agree with Sev. There's no reason to escalate this. We could drag that ship away from the away from there. We can put him in our brig or tow his ship away to buy ourselves more time. There is no need for more bloodshed. Or we could explain the situation. That also works. Yeah, we could take him with us. Explain the situation. Guarantee his crew safety. They did not need to die. Oh, fuck you. Not, not you, Seven. You're fine. Fuck you, Eldex. I trust you won't be so squeamish in the future. There is more riding on this plan than the lives of a handful of so-called peacekeepers. We'll see. The Borg place very little value on the life of one individual. Captain Janeway and the crew of Voyager showed me that that belief was incorrect. Given all they have been through, I had hoped Commander Eldex would place more value on the lives of others. It appears that his concern only extends to other Vodwar. Watch him carefully. Eldex cannot be trusted. Yeah, after that little display, I lost a little bit of trust in him. Lost some trust in him. Okay, Captain, I have the coordinates from Eldex. We can leave as soon as you're ready. Let's go. Okay, I need to check something real quick. Okay. Okay. Go. Gaul has increased security since your last visit. Let me do the talking. Understood. Try to match speed. Hi, Yosa, how you doing? Everything's going fine. We're in ourselves this Vodwar ship. Continue. Verification code one zero nine nine four seven. I hope that works. Verification accepted. Due to heightened security, all ships are required to reduce speed below full impulse for security scans. Understood. One hurdle cleared. Continue to the manned security checkpoint. Setting a course now. Yeah, everything's going fine. Had myself a bit of hiccup in the beginning when I was taking care of a few things. 
Oh, or say, or say, or say, not on stream. But doing fine. Okay, dry docks over there. Disengage your engines and provide the proper security codes. I have been here many times. I have never needed to submit my codes. My predecessor was more lax in her handling of security measures. She has paid the price for her errors in judgment. What is your security code? Uh... Verification code Alpha 4742. Commander Eldex and Squadron reporting. Do not make me late for the meeting. Right away, Commander. Code accepted, Commander Eldex. Take your squadron to the marked position on the outer orbit ring. Good day. Ignore the scans. Fly like you belong here. Good thing you didn't try to use a hologram again, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's a good thing. There are 67 ships in this system. That is more than expected. Gaul's planning something big. This must be the start. Yeah, and I still wish I'm in my ship. More ships are just more reasons not to get caught. Because I've got a feeling I'm going to need the, need to swap this. We're putting a great deal of trust in you, Commander. Let's go with assault, with ambush turrets. I am after one goal. The liberation of my people from these monsters. I will do anything to achieve that, including betraying Gaul to save us all. It is time for someone with a stronger resolve to take up the cause that Gaul has abandoned. Yeah. More ships means better chances of success with the stealth mission doesn't actually work. Yeah. There are more ships in system than I had anticipated. But we can't stop now. Leaving would only make us look suspicious. I'm transmitting coordinates for a secure room near the meeting site. Beam down there. I will have a holographic disguise ready for you. Security is scanning for such tricks on ships, but I'm not sure they realize how many uses there are for hollow emitters. Yeah, I agree. Anyway, let's beam down. Tarsi to Meta Scarvin. Here, use these hollow projectors. Security is so focused on keeping intruders out of our space that they won't be looking for trouble on the ground. But try not to act suspicious. Our soldiers aren't as dumb as you seem to think they are. You'll need to place these emitters around the leaders, which, when activated, will emit a low-level delta radiation pulse that should disrupt their isoboramine neurotransmitters, forcing their parasites out for a short period. Okay, that should work, but it won't give us much time. You'll also need to place recording devices, so everything that happens is transmitted to the quadrant. I'll stay here with the transmitter and monitor your progress. Uh, I was this is more than a simple briefing. Gaul might even be here in person. So don't get caught. We're all dead if you do. Don't uh, worry about yourself, Aldex. We won't get caught. Anyway, in case you're wondering what that sound was, that was me opening up a can of soda. Got a, pl got a, pr got a bit of a variety of drink here tonight. <laughs> Let's get some holographic disguises. And here we go. Ha <laughs> ha 
I said it's soda, not synthale. Okay. Let's set a disruptor device. Turn around here. That's one recording device. And another... One more... You'll need to set up a signal booster so we can transmit our signal through the base's electronic security. There's a power console near to where the leadership is addressing the troops. Tie the repeater into the conduits there. Find the console, install the signal booster, I can do that. Over there, I just, I thought those were the only consoles there for a second. Tie it all in. Hey! What are you doing? No one is allowed back here. If we are finished here, I suggest we return to the crowd. Um... Yeah. You're supposed to hide the... We were supposed to hide the body, body. So you should have tossed it over. Excuse me. Let's get back to the conference. And we'll wait for it to begin. Position. Hear the words of our great leader. Go, sir. What do you want? Someone found the guard. Quick, activate the device. Activating. <gasps> what? What's happening? Enough! Why are you letting your eyes deceive you? This is a plot by our enemies! They're trying to divide us! I say no! We will stand strong, united! We are Vodwa, and we will conquer our enemies! You're right! This is insane! I'll stand with you! No! Gods will betray you! I see some of you are still loyal to our cause. The rest. You are cowards and traitors unworthy to be called Vodwa. Kill them. Well, we got ourselves a riot on our hands, basically. I think our time here is done. We should make our way to the extraction point. Let's have ourselves a bit of fun here. <laughs> Yay! 
Yeah, I agree. Okay, now to get the heck out of Dodge. Get out! Get out now! Yeah, we had to get to the area to get out! I need to rally my people. The ones who aren't infected and who are willing to fight. The parasites will crush them if someone doesn't act. My allies are holding one of the space docks in the outer perimeter. Help me get there. I'll start coordinating the fight from there, and you'll be able to return to your ship. Follow us, we'll get you there. We need to confirm the transmission made it to the array. Confirming? Incoming hostiles. Handle them! The hostile ship. The transmission signal is strong, and it's reaching the Herogen communications array. Now all Vaudoir will know about the corruption among us. You should go. I need to prepare my people for the fight ahead. Good luck. Gonna need it. I am in contact with Voyager, and it is waiting with your vessel outside this system. We need to depart immediately. Let's get the heck out of Dodge! There we go. Gaul and his allies are still in control, but they're losing their grip on the reins. You planted a seed of revolution. Let's hope it reaches full bloom soon. Agreed. I'll just take the Tetra on Beamery. I'd like you to look at Our Alliance is going to need more help if we want to succeed blah, blah, against the blah. bot. That's actually a case of having to sprint around the entire Delta Quadrant, which skip we're gonna do the final battle here. We're about to plan an attack on the Vodwar homeworld. We need a battle commander, and I believe you're the best candidate for the job. Meet with Admiral Tuvok and myself at the Janolan Dyson Sphere to go over strategy. All right. There's something interesting I'd like you to look into. And transwarp there. Begin takedown. <laughs> yeah. Believe you're the best can candidate for the job. Yeah, you have clearly have been paying attention. It seems I'm getting all this. It seems I'm ranking up there with the Enterprise in terms of missions. Okay, 
We have arrived in the general Dyson Sphere, um, Dyson Sphere, Admiral. Our orders are for you to beam down to the surface for the conference about to take place. Acknowledged. And beam down. By the way, I've been working on getting this. That Temporal Disorder console. Admiral Jamie wants to speak with to you. We were seeing with you before the briefing. Admiral Tuvok will be giving a presentation soon. Until then, I'd like you to speak with our allies and see what they're bringing to the table. Any tactical updates I should be aware of, Admiral Tuvok? The Vaudoir are anticipating an attack of some kind, and we know they are monitoring our ship movements closely. Therefore, I suggest we adapt the tactics of our enemies to our own use. As a diversion, I have dispatched Alliance ships to the Cartella system to engage the Vaudoir forces there. If they are successful, by the time the Vaudoir realize what is happening, we will have already secured Vaudoir Prime. The Vaudoir believe the other species of this quadrant are too weak to challenge them. We will use that misconception to our advantage by using our Delta Quadrant allies to assault Vaudoir Prime itself. Understood. Admiral Tuvok will be giving a presentation. Okay, to yeah, thank you. I'll talk to them. Sorry. Okay, Neelix? We have a firm contract with the Hazari. It would bring them great dishonor to fail to complete it, so I expect that we'll have their full support in this battle. What will they do for us? The Hazari ships usually fight in pairs. One ship hangs back and provides shield support for the other. This gives them excellent defensive capabilities, but it comes at a cost. Their firepower isn't quite as strong as it would be if they weren't so dedicated to protection. Thank you, Neelix. Greetings. The Hazari will uphold our end of the contract. To the letter. And we expect you to do the same. We specialize in defense. And our ships are at your disposal. Thank you. We appreciate your acceptance of this contract. Next, talk to the doctor. Good to see you again. Through my excellent diplomatic skills and some assistance from Admiral Tuvok, I have managed to convince the Hierarchy Board of Directors that assisting us in this battle and ensuring the end of the Vaudoir will improve their long-term profits. The Hierarchy are experts at surveillance and espionage. If the Vaudoir try any tricks, the Hierarchy would be the ones we should send to subvert them. Thank you, Doctor. Greetings. The Hierarchy is anticipating a profitable transaction under your guidance. Our surveillance and tactical capabilities are at your disposal. We anticipate a mutually beneficial arrangement. I'm not sure I completely trust the Kazon after our experience with Marsh Sesson, but they say they'll fight for us today. Maybe you'll have better luck reaching a consensus with them than I did. What will the Kazon provide? The Kazon have a large number of ships and fight without fear. However, their lack of organization makes slotting them into precise battle formations problematic. They'll go to war with you, but they may not follow every order. Thank you, Captain. The Kazon are eager for battle. Our enemies will fall today. All of them. I look forward to fighting by your side. Next up... Seven and the and the cooperative. The cooperative asked me to inform you that they appreciate your assistance, and are prepared to provide what assistance they can in the final battle against the Vaudois. I know the cooperative numbers are few. What do they offer? The cooperative's main weapon is adapted Borg technology. Cooperative vessels can confuse the systems of opposing ships and cause them to fire on friendly targets. This tactic is most effective in mixed groups of ships. 
where the cooperative can turn the larger vessels against the smaller ones. Thank you, Seven. The cooperative appreciates your partnership, and we are eager to end the Vodwar threat to our quadrant. Our technological capabilities are at your disposal. We appreciate your assistance in this matter. The presentation will begin momentarily. Perhaps you would be willing to check in with the representatives of our other allies. We invited Eldex's people and the Herogen, but neither group chose to send a representative. Okay, any other updates I should be aware of? The Vaudoir nope. are anticipating an attack of some okay, the presentation the will begin momentarily. So understood, Perhaps I'll talk be to the representatives. To the rep Greetings. The Benthan Guard is honored to join you in the fight against the Vaudoir. We dedicate our lives to promoting law and order throughout the Delta Quadrant. Finding someone else with the same ideals is unusual, but most gratifying. The support of your people is greatly appreciated. Kobali? It's an honor to meet you again. I am eternally grateful for your assistance on my world. By joining you in this fight, perhaps I can begin to repay a small portion of the life debt my people owe you. The support of your people is greatly appreciated. By the way, in case you're wondering what happened off stream, I took care of the Kobali Crisis arc. Basically, what's been, what they had was the Badwar had, had, or they have the store, um, cryo storage s s facility, and the Kobali were basically turning dead Vodwar there into more Kobali, which not really going through that because we should go through all that because there's a whole bunch of other stuff going on too. Anyway, let's talk with the Ture representative. Greetings. Aiding you against the Vodwar was a difficult decision for our people. We do not wish to ally with you, but we understand that ending Gaul's reign of terror is more important than our discomfort. Support of your people is greatly appreciated. Hello again! You've done so much to help us. It's only right that we help you this time. Thank you, Kalax. The, the Alliance appreciated your support. And back to Tuvok. If you are ready, I will begin the presentation. Go ahead, Admiral. The bulk of the Vodwar fleet has pulled back to Vodwar Prime. We expect to face the final might of the Vodwar, including Gaul's flagship. Our battle there will have five fronts, each progressively closer to the planet. Our rendezvous point will be here, where the mineral content of the moon will help to hide our ships. The Touré will secure the subspace tunnels in this area, while the Kabali will help the wounded. The Admiral has already given us our assignment. Our forces will assault the other side of the planet to secure the area against a possible retreat. Our Talaxian friends will be in charge of transporting prisoners of war. To give us the best possible chance of success, our battle commander will be able to call in one wing of our allies at each of the first four fronts. Each wing of allies has different tactical advantages. The cooperative can confuse enemies. The Kazon have many ships and fight without fear. The Hierarchy have unparalleled espionage and surveillance abilities, and should be difficult to take by surprise. Hazari vessels fight in pairs, with one ship reinforcing the other's shields. This battle will be difficult, but we must prevail. Let's get out of here, and start this battle. Did my ship go to reverse? <laughs> the fleet is ready to begin the assault. I will remain behind to coordinate their movements, while you will be commanding the battle from the field. We have four wings of allies at our disposal to help you break through the Vaudoir lines. I recommend deploying one wing in each area. Are you ready to begin? I'm ready. The Vaudoir have sent out several large frigate scout forces. 
Which wing of allies do you want to assist you? Okay, so they're just scouts. Okay, I'm trying to think here. Hmm. What's your advice? Because I'm thinking, I'm thinking the Kazon, but I'd rather, rather have a double check here. We are facing a large number of rather weak vessels. We need ships that would not be overwhelmed by numbers. The Kazon might be a good choice, because they have a large number of ships as well. The Hazari, another good option, because their powerful defensive capabilities would help in this situation. The Cooperative would perhaps not be a good choice. They could be overwhelmed by the number of Vodwar frigates. Thank you, Admiral. Just wanted to double check. The Vodwar we'll go with the Kazon. An excellent choice. The Kazon numbers should be a match for the frigates, and their lack of organization should not be too great of a hindrance. Let's see what the Kazon can do. Something's not right here. The Kazon are in the wrong position, and they aren't responding to my hails. Tarsi, what's your take on this? Sensors indicate the Kazon are moving into position with with the Vodwar. On screen. Okay, some of these appear to be Nistrum. We're being ha we're being hailed. It's Sesson. Ah, oh, Sesson. I should have known. On screen. Okay, you're not talking. So, so Lyle's voice. It fools. Did you really believe I would assist assist you in your folly? My mother's murder will be avenged at last. Uh, Janeway didn't murder your mother, Sesson. Siska brought her death upon herself. Okay. They've closed channels and we're being hailed by the Rhode Island. On screen. I was worried they might double cross us, but I never thought they would be so blatant. But come to think of it, they did say some pretty suspicious things during the briefing. Fortunately, Admiral Tuvok and I have a backup plan. Sesson has been encroaching on Herogen territory for some time. They'll join us in battle for a chance to collect his ship as a trophy. Excellent work, Captain Kim. Bring him on in. Seems that some of the enemies are stuck in places. The Herogen are putting up a good fight. Take items. One battle group taken care of. I was too close to some explosions. <laughs> Recall. This area is one of your rules. Remain here with the Herogen and coordinate their cleanup efforts. The Terrain fleet has secured the subspace tunnels. The Vodwar will not be able to use them to attack or to retreat. Excellent. We will establish a medical flotilla and secure the area. Vessels of the fleet can transport any including Thotmar, to our ship. Make sure you treat our people first. Let's travel to the Bravo front. Next. The Vodwar have set up a cruiser picket line in this area. Which ally do you want to advance? Um, I'm thinking the Hazari. What do you think, Admiral? We are facing a picket line of cruisers, so we need ships that can withstand constant, persistent attacks. The Hazari could be a good choice. Their defensive capabilities would be a good match for the Vodwar cruisers. I believe the Cooperative would also be sufficient to the task. 
I would not recommend the hierarchy, however. Their ships are more suited to espionage and surveillance, so fighting a large number of moderately powered vessels would not be advantageous. Thank you, Admiral. The Vodwar Just as I thought, Hazari. A sound tactical choice. The Hazari methods utilize one ship to reinforce the shields of another. Vodwar cruisers do not have the firepower to break through the reinforced shielding. Yeah, they won't have a ch chance against the Hazari. Ow! Accidentally bit my tongue a little bit. Okay, I'm detecting Kazan warships warping in. They're hailing us on screen. The Kazan Ogla will no longer stand by while the Relora and Nistrum sully our name with their treachery. I will make good on their false promises. Frankly, Cal uh, Jardin, I'm surprised at your nobility, but I'm glad for your help. Target. Locking on. Big boom. Sorry, the fences are too strong. The ball park can't get through. More speed. Need more speed. We must disable the satellite network to prevent Bodwar from rece receiving surveillance data that might allow them to make a counterattack. First, we will need to override the security measures on one of the satellites, then we can transmit a virus that will shut down the entire network. Let's do it! And transmit the, vir the virus. In there. The first wave of Vodwar defenders, and we are entering position for our next offensive. Resistance has been heavier than expected, but our ships have so far proved equal to the task. Excellent work, Captain. Keep me apprised of your situation. Please remember to direct any wounded or prisoners of war to our flotilla at Alpha Front. Acknowledged. That went well. What do you want me to do now? Hold this area while we proceed to the next. Let's travel to Charlie. The Vodwar have constructed a defensive line of battleships supported by frigates. Which wing of allies would you like to help you? I'm thinking the hierarchy, but I'd rather have your info, info on that. We are facing battleships flying in formation with frigates, so we need ships that can disable the larger ships or otherwise neutralize their tactics. The cooperative would be a good choice. Their ability to confuse the opponents could result in the larger ships destroying the smaller ones with friendly fire. The hierarchy would likewise be a strong option. Their espionage and surveillance tactics may allow them to isolate the larger ships. Thank you, Admiral. The Vodwar have I'm gonna go a with line of the doctor. Supported. The hierarchy should be adequate to the task. They should be able to surprise and disable the larger ships, crippling the firepower of their battle groups. Okay. We just do this, and I expect the performance of the hierarchy to be more than simply adequate to the task.
Moment. are performing as expected. Okay, uh, orbital platform secure, Admiral. Hail the Talaxians. We are ready to begin transporting prisoners of war from the orbital platforms at your command. We have secured the platforms. Proceed with the transport, please. The Vodwar forces are defeated, as I knew they would be. <laughs> what are your orders? Hold this area while we proceed to the next one. To the Delta Front. The Vaudoir have constructed a defensive line of battleships. However, knowing the Vaudoir, they might be planning a surprise attack. Send seven in with the Cooperative. A reasonable choice. The Cooperative ships can be effective against large ships. Let us hope the Vaudoir do not have surprises in store for us. Indeed, Admiral. Let's hope the Cooperative has some surprises of its own. Disable the orbital repair platforms in, the, in this area. They have found or could repair their ships and allow them to re enter con conflict. The platforms are networked together so we can access recognize, recognition subroutines and any single platform and change them to propagate to the others. Good idea. Access it. 
transmit the protocol override. And the Benthids are hailing us. On screen. Sir, so we have broken through the ranks of the Vodwar defenders. They are falling back, back, but we have them contained. We anticipate we should be able to rendezvous with you at the Echo Front shortly. Excellent work, Captain. The Vodwar forces in this area have been defeated. What are your orders? Hold this area while we proceed to the next. Travel to the Echo Front. Have, here we go. Got our swarmers. We have broken through to their final line of defense, their command ships. However, in doing so, we have exhausted our supply of allies, and the Vodwar dreadnoughts are formidable. This will be a difficult fight. Well, unfortunately, we have to press on, even if it's alone. Not quite alone. The Rojan have matters well in hand, so the Rhode Island is at your disposal. Glad to have you, Captain. I have temporarily taken command of a cooperative vessel. You will not fight alone. Wonderful Seven, we could use the help. The Hierarchy also agreed to send a single ship to assist in the final assault. Under the command of yours truly, of course. I'm finally getting to use my emergency command subroutine. But you would not believe the amount of paperwork I had to fill out. Welcome to my world, Doctor, and fantastic for coming along. Last but not least, the Hazari managed to spare a ship and put it under my command. Oh. Captain Neelix. Indeed, Neelix, thank you. I am impressed with the show of support from our allies. However, my tactical analysis indicates that our forces are inferior to the Vodwar. We have to fight. Okay, by the VSW Vo 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 Vosfros. On screen. How sad. I hope you would put up more of a fight. Sorry to disappoint you. The Vodwar are relentless. The probability of our survival is slim. Don't tell me the odds. I'll focus fire on Dahl's flagship. Oh, it's Commander Eldex. That's good. Yeah, we already got that. <laughs> Kinda late. Very late to the party, I must say. But thanks for arriving. Sir, we've arrived to help secure the area. Excellent, I'm needing on the surface. Okay, calls appear to escape to the surface of the escape pod. Let's beam down. Before I do, let me just swap back to this. Okay, Gaul landed somewhere in this area. He must have gone into those tunnels. Let's follow him. Okay, this just landed a few minutes ago, so he can't be far away.
Okay, next stop, the hangar. Come on! I almost tried to revive you and that place down a flamethrower turret. Oh, everyone's down. Wasn't well, that just lovely? I could exactly ha <laughs> click on that. Oh, it's one of those. <laughs> Force field dome. Holy valves slowing down. Yes, it does. <laughs> on up here. Oh, excuse me. Bit of a hiccup there. Unlock the security door. Continue on. I'm gonna have to summon them once. Regroup. There we go. I think we're getting near the end of the or the end of this. New respawn point unlocked, that's good. Yep, this way. Welcome, my friend. Okay, Yoza. You should have joined me when you had the chance. Your persistence is a credit to your race, but it is time for this sad story to end. Your blood will drench the sands of our blasted home. It's over, Gaul. Surrender now and save the lives of your remaining soldiers. Time to defeat wave one. Wave one. Okay, come on. 
Thank you. Slash transporter. Congratulations. You have earned the right to die on the hallowed soil of Bog Bog. Although you are clearly not the brightest aliens in the universe, your bravery is admirable. And I do respect Starfleet for ending my people's long twilight. Surrender now, and I give you my word I will spare your people. You and the other leaders will need to be executed, of course. But that is only to maintain order. Personally, I bear you no ill will. Yeah, we will never surrender. That's twice you've refused my generosity. I should be insulted, but your pitiful blindness makes it difficult. And I feel only content for your delusions. And another... Dr oh! Bluegill! The Vardwar controlled this quadrant once, and our new allies have only made us stronger. Welcome to Ground Floor, Gaul. Is that the best you've got? Now's your chance! Defeat Gaul! And he's running away. Oh, more drop pods. The Vardwar Empire will never fall. And you will not even be a footnote in our glorious history. Oh, you went to get back up, I see. Back up. Ow. 
好。Time after time, we rise from the ashes, and we are stronger for doing so. Your logic is flawed, Gaul. You are already defeated. The evil I mistakenly unleashed on the galaxy ends at last. My people and the galaxy must believe the parasites were behind his madness. surrendered. What is your current situation? We're in Gaul's command center, Admiral. Gaul's dead. Were you able to determine why he returned to the surface? It was a tactical error. Even if underspace was closed to him, Gaul would have had more opportunities to escape if he had remained in his ship. Not yet. Join me where we can investigate. Certainly. May I recommend Seven, Captain Kim, the Doctor, and Neelix join us as well. Absolutely. Their insight may be valuable. Absolutely. Would you contact them for me? Take that. Let me clean out my inventory here real quick. Okay. Whole bunch of stuff to get rid of. Don't need that triple, so there we go. Uh, yeah, a fitting monument to all. Excuse me, fitting place for it to all end for him. Just basically one big monument to sins <laughs> right here. Just a devastated planet. Talk to the doctor first. War is just a pointless waste of life. Usually for a political reason that doesn't much matter in the long term anyway. I understand that sometimes we need to fight to defend those who cannot defend themselves. I respect that. But what Gaul was doing here was madness. It's one thing for him to want to rebuild his people. It's something entirely different to destroy dozens of worlds to do so. Indeed. While this conflict was regrettable, it was ultimately for the greater good. Gaul's hubris and ambition blinded him to the harm he was doing to the Delta Quadrant and his own people. Now the threat is ended. There will be time to heal the damage he has done. But were they acting alone? That's the question. I was responsible for the return of the Vagwar. Even though Admiral Jane May told me she might have done the same thing, it was ultimately my actions that allowed all this destruction to happen. I participated in the assimilation of many different species during my time with the Borg. Those acts weigh on me. The wanton slaughter caused by the Vodwar will do so as well. Seven, you could have known what would happen. Nevertheless, I am pleased I could, in some way, make up for my actions. By assisting the Turei, working with the Cooperative, and fighting the Vodwar here today, we have helped end what began more than 30 years ago when I activated those stasis tubes and freed the Vodwar. Thank you. You're welcome, Seven. We couldn't have done this without you. Head up there in a second. First, talk to Neelix. I'm not a man who normally dwells on revenge, but when Gaul and his soldiers attacked my people, it was almost all I could think about. Dexa helped me to see that death doesn't heal wounds of the heart, but thank you. This quadrant is safer now that Gaul and his soldiers are defeated, and I'm glad I was here to see it happen. Goodbye, my friend. Just have all you so you're not following. There. Honestly, 
I wasn't sure about coming back to the Delta Quadrant. I have a family and a life back home, and the idea of being 70,000 light years away again wasn't appealing. But seeing the good we've done for the Kabali, and now stopping the Vodwar, I think we were needed here. You were needed. Thank you. It's been a pleasure serving with you. It was I good. hope we meet again. It was good serving with you, Captain Kim. Wait, we already did talk, so why... Is there something else I missed? Honestly? Okay, yeah. Admiral, I'm detecting an, un an unusual radiation for emanating from that door. Okay, let's investigate. Iconian. Intriguing. This device is not familiar to me, but it does not appear to be of Vodwar origin. I will bring it back to Voyager for further analysis. Acknowledged. Okay, let's beam up and out. With the defeat of Gaul, we've saved the Quadrant from a terrible threat. Well done. This unknown artifact concerns me, however. We'll be in touch once we know more. Okay. There's something interesting I'd like you to look into. Let me see. Yep. What's left behind? Admiral Tuvok would like you to join his team as they study the mysterious artifact you found on Vodwar Prime. Meet with them in the Nal Shadan system. Okay. There's something interesting. Let's transform there. And begin it. So here we've arrived at the Dal Shadan system. Voyager sends Admiral Tuvok's regards and says they are ready for you to move as soon as you, we've moved to transport range. Okay, let's be with Voyager. And beam to Voyager. I need some drink. One second, everyone. Transport completes. Sir, Admiral Tuvok has arranged to greet you in the transporter room. He wishes to speak to you about the device we recovered from Gaul. Understood, I'll talk to him. Welcome back to Voyager. We were about to begin studying the device you recovered from Gaul's communication center. Since you have spearheaded much of our efforts here, I would like you to take the lead once again. Captain Kim and Seven of Nine are at your disposal. Talk with them if you need more help deciphering the device. When you finish your analysis, return to me for further orders. I will be here in the transporter room to see you off. Understood, Admiral. I'll take a look at the device and engineering. Glad you're here. We transported the device to engineering here so we could run all the scans and tests we could think of. The first thing we need to do is determine how it's communicating. We can't find any normal transmissions from it, but we're hoping you have some new ideas to bring to the table. Agreed. One second. Need to blow my nose. There we go. Okay. Okay. We studied the device for a while, realized it must transmit a signal of some sort. Now the normal detection won't seem to give any sort of feedback. You decide to investigate some of the more exotic transmission forms. Let's scan for subspace fields because I believe it's Iconian, so 
It scans subspace. Okay, the Bado are self proclaimed masters of underspace, a form of subspace in the Delta Quadrant. So, yeah, hypo uh, hypothesize that the device may be used to communicate directly to subspace. Your scans pick up a fade resonance. The device does appear to be designed to communicate with a similar devices located in subspace. Okay, I'll inform, I'll inform Captain Kim then. The device communicates with subspace. We should have guessed that. Now comes the hard part. We need to access the device's memory core. The engineering team here on Voyager is good, and I've heard your team is top notch, but it might take more time than we have for either team to make a full analysis. We should have both teams give you their opinions on the device. If we work together, hopefully we can make a breakthrough. Agreed. You'll need to set switches on the device until we get solid readings. We'll be able to tell if switches are in the correct position, but not which switches. Good I'll, luck. I'll go set the switches. You have the device. Have the teams tell me what state the device is in. Active the device. Okay. Let's check switch one. Evaluate. The engineering teams tell me two of the switches are in the correct mode. Unfortunately, we don't know which two switches. Let's turn you on. Sir, I've consulted with both the engineers go. here on Voyager and your chief engineer. I am seeing green across that the That was board. easy. <laughs> All the switches are in the correct position, and we now have access to the primary memory core of the device. Unfortunately, we're only halfway there. Now we need to access the secondary memory core to get full access to the data we need. Okay, I'll access the secondary memory core. <laughs> Set off. The engineering teams tell me two of the switches are in the... The engineers tell me... Oh. Pack. The engineers tell me there is... Oh, it was already right the first time. Looks like you did it again. All the switches are in the correct position, and we now have full access to the memory core of the device. Seven of nine should be of assistance in accessing the memory banks of that device. She's in astrometrics, attempting to get a fix on the location of who, or what, is receiving these transmissions. Excellent, I'll go see seven then. In the device to astrometrics. We have access to the data banks of the device. Very efficient work. From the data we have received so far, we will be able to pinpoint the exact transmission coordinates. However, it is possible that doing so may alert whomever is on the other end that we have reverse engineered their technology. There are three likely ways to get at the information. I suggest further analysis to determine the best course of action. Okay. Okay, you have root access to the device now. All that is left is determining via the device's memory where the transmission is being set sent. Hopefully you can do this without alerting parties on the on the other end. Let's go with uh, um and let's analyze the ramifications of each method. Take the time to probe the defenses. You determine that if you attempt a hey, brute force, this will most certainly alert the recipient to the actions. Um, if you would with encrypted, you feel the security protocol will likely trip on the other end, and multi-vectored will get better information. Yep. Multi-vectored, then. If you attempt at a multi-vectored intrusion of the database, you have done the trick, no unusual activity is detected, and you have location in real space where you can enter subspace. Which is in the now Shadron system. Ow. I bit my tongue when I had my when I had my when I had my dinner tonight, so it's so I don't know how I'm sounding right now because I keep clipping my teeth because there's a small bump because of that. Get back to the transporter room and back to my ship. 
Fascinating. Excellent work. With this location, we may be able to finally reveal who gave the Vaudoir their advanced technology and why the neural parasites appeared again in this time and place. Commander Jarok of the Romulan Republic has requested to join you on this operation. Her own analysis of the device has shown that the Romulans have had some contact with the creators of this device, a race known as the Ilachi. She will meet you in subspace at the given coordinates. Okay. Finally, Voyager's emergency medical hologram, the Doctor, will be assigned to your crew. His knowledge of the Delta Quadrant races may prove invaluable. He's not much of a combatant, but should prove useful. Understood, Admiral. Oop, I have to talk to the doctor here. Hello again. Okay, let's continue. And beam to my ship. And into subspace we go. Okay, so we've successfully transitioned to subspace. The RRW Lasset should be arriving any moment. Looks like Gull's communications were going to an Alachi outpost station. It's still active, sir. I'm picking up several Alachi ships in the area. Hell alert! Keep an eye on those ships. Greetings. This is Commander Jarok of the RRW Lasset. When we learned that the Alachi were involved, I requested to shadow you on this mission. I know your experience with the Alachi is limited. The Romulan Republic, however, has an extensive history with this race. Okay, just who exactly are the Alachi, for, for those who don't know? The Tal Shiar used Alachi to help invade Viranat, a colony made up of Romulan refugees seeking to make a new life for themselves. The two factions worked together to convince Romulan colonies to join the Tal Shiar. It was in spite of this that the Romulan Republic was forged. We fought off the Tal Shiar and eventually made a stand against the Alachi at New Romulus. Many Romulans gave their lives in defense of our new homeworld. But that final defense seemed to quiet Ilachi attacks for quite some time, barring the occasional incursion from subspace. Understood. All right, we'll follow your lead here. Okay. We're seeing three patrol groups. Recommend we eliminate them before we board the station. Agreed. sound weird. Another Alachi ship is here to defend the outpost. Well, that was quick. <laughs> to the station. Hold on, everyone. Need to take Good. care of one thing. You found the breeding apparatus. <laughs> that should take care of that nasty cough. Yeah, that's called my EV suit. Hold on, Chad. Need to refresh things on my, on my end for Chad and all that. Speak to the away team. Okay, we're out of the outpost station, sir, and the doctor has offered to accompany the away team to offer ex his extensive knowledge of the Delta Quadrant. In addition, Commander Chirac has taken the away team from the set to another part of the facility, and she wishes to speak beforehand. Commander? 
I was thinking we should split up and cover as much of the facility as we can, unless you have a better idea. Doctor, what's your take on the situation? This is obviously an Alachi facility. What I know about them comes from the Romulan Republic's databases, but I should be able to learn more as we examine this location. The air here is suitable for the Alachi, which means that you may find breathing difficult. I, of course, do not have that problem. If you have an environmental suit, or even some sort of rebreather, you will be fine. If you don't, keep an eye out for something that could help filter out the toxins. Yep. Which means I'm using my EV suit. Scarvin's using his, so we're all set here. Still keep an eye out for anything else that might help. These are Sylvanae tables. I read the Enterprise news reports about them. Scan the bed here. Ah, something. There we go. Using the Iconian Gateway on New Romulus. The Solanae kidnap victims through subspace for their brutal experiments. If they are somehow connected to the Alachi and the Vodwar, this is beginning to make more sense. If I had to guess, there must be a stasis room nearby. We should find it and rescue anyone in there who can still be saved. Agreed. Stasis room should be this way. Can't go that way, so I have to go this way. Ha <laughs> ha funny. If you're talking about Doctor Who. No, the doctor has an EMH Mark One. There's an emergency medical hologram. It looks as if they are converting their captives into more Alachi. If my readings are correct, there are several individuals here who have only just begun the conversion process. We can save them if we beam them back to your ship. Okay. Transport this Galaxian directly to sickbay. How are you doing that? Got a Klingon. God. This is no way for a proud Klingon warrior to go out. We'll patch him up immediately. Exactly. Thank you. Let's 
see. Trey? Everything but will be fine, <laughs> Mr. Trey. We'll beam you directly to sickness. Kazon. Even the Borg won't assimilate the Kazon. Oh. Okay, they didn't even. Sh <laughs> it wasn't even f full. <laughs> they occupied. And. Benthan. I believe. You'll be back on duty before you know it. One yep. to be up. Here we go. Well, the Solene are definitely involved. I believe I have everything I need from this area. We need to keep moving if we hope to meet up with Commander Jarok. Agreed. The door is unlocked now. We should keep going. I know. This is a good one. Orolachi. I should go back to the ship. Uh, no, you're staying with us. Neural parasites. This must be where the Vodwa were implanted with those mind controlling bugs. Download the data. Neural parasites. Just as I suspected. Did you know that several Starfleet officers were infected by these in the mid-2360s? The Enterprise logs from that era are fascinating reading, if you ever have a few dozen hours to spare. I'll take a look at them later, Doctor. Continue, please. If Gaul and the infected Vaudoir were communicating with this station, it stands to reason that this may be the facility where the Bluegill implantation takes place. We should definitely investigate further. If we can find the implantation room, I should be able to analyze their equipment and gather more information. Okay. I don't believe it. The empirical evidence is right in front of me, but I'm actually having difficulty processing this information. What is it? This tech, this whole facility, it's Iconian. There are variations on the norm, of course, because of the Solene and Alachi influence, but I see distinct signs of their presence throughout the facility. Iconians? Here too. The Iconians, as we know them, rarely reveal themselves. The only known interaction with an Iconian in modern history took place on Kronos, when... Wait, you were there! I don't need to explain that situation again. As I was saying, the Iconians don't like to act directly. They use servitor races, like the Alachi and the Solene, to cause chaos in their name. And the neural parasites, they've bioengineered. Rather like the Founders created the Gemhadar, but sophisticated enough to control another species, and with much less free will. The Parasites are a weapon. What about the Vodwar? Were they active before the Akkodians revealed themselves? When Voyager revived the Vodwar, their technology was outdated compared to what other powers in the Delta Quadrant had at that time. Even the Kazan outdid them. But now, Vodwar technology is cutting edge. The only way they could have advanced so far, so fast, was by aligning themselves with someone else. With the Iconians. The Vodwar got their tech upgrades from them, but they also got the neural parasites. The parasites gave the Vodwar power. 
but they gave the Iconians control. They were ultimately the ones pulling the strings. This entire war has been against an enemy we didn't even see. That's the information we needed to find. Let's meet up with Commander Jirak and get off the station. First, I'm gonna need to do one other thing. I'm gonna talk to. Go over there to talk to the. Nope. Why? Okay, respawn point. Fine. Let's go this way. Definitely Iconian. What do you think of that little daughter being brought about? Okay, investigate. Okay, that's some plantation devices. These parasites aren't a natural species at all. They look. Engineered. Some of this technology is ancient, but it's quite advanced. Well, what do you expect from Iconians? This is more like a factory than a laboratory. Yeah, I agree. Okay, sir, I've taken some quick readings of those Alachi. They're showing the same energy signatures as a parasite account enhanced Bodwar, but they're fluctuating. The Alachi will be phasing in and out of vulnerability. We can beat them, we just have to pick the right moment. Attack the Alachi with the blue effects. Understood. for them. Yeah, maybe we should avoid any uh, potential contact with the prisoner? I think I've seen enough combat for today. Well, too bad. Oh, best way. I have no idea what happened to our EV suits. Showing up when you're least expected. Ah, uh, you. Why did it have to be you? More Alachi. I don't think the Iconians want me to leave. Their tenacity is almost... <laughs> Hello? 
Looks like you could use a hand. And now we have their leader's attention. There's the leader. for all the lives you've destroyed. Calm down, Jarak. And if you do, you'll never learn about the Iconians. I've been here for months. I've seen enough to know you need my help. That could be very valuable information, Commander Jarak. Fine. You interrogate her. I might get a little carried away. But she returns with me to the Lisette when you're finished here. Sela is a prisoner of the Romulan Republic government can go through official channels if they want to talk to her. Agreed. You can take custody of her once we're done. You and this Sela person seem to have some history. I'll leave you to speak to her. Yeah, it makes you want to, want to break out the Zeph from Cockham shotgun and show her kneecaps are a privilege. <laughs> anyway. Not so fast. You have the weapons, but I have the information. If you want to learn what I know, You'll need to keep those Romulan rebels under control. You've stumbled into something much greater than you're prepared to handle. I'm the best ally you have. Talk and then I'll decide what happens to you. I assume you already know where you are. Both the Alachi and the Solene serve the Iconians. The Alachi are their warriors and the Solene are their scientists. They're the ones who created those... creatures implanted into the Vaudoir. <sighs> Maybe. <laughs> anyway, the neural parasites? Why did the Iconians use, use them here, but not at the Tal Shiar? Hakiv joined the Iconians out of faith. He thought the Iconians would create an empire he could rule. That did not go as planned. This time, the Iconians wanted to control their puppets. When the Vaudoir asked for strength to defeat their enemies, the Iconians gave them the parasites. The Vaudoir had strength, but also strings. Strings that have now been cut. I'm sure you had something to do with that. Yes, alongside the Alliance of, Romu of the Romulan Republic and the Klingon Empire. All three of you working together? The world has changed in my absence. Or were the Vaudoir that much of a threat to the Alpha Quadrant? Actually, we're in the Delta Quadrant now. That explains some things. I'd love an escort back to the world at large, but I have a feeling you have some questions first. I do have a few questions, yes. I'll answer what I can. You can believe what you want. Uh, what was your relationship with the Iconians, whether you're their prisoner or their ally? How important is that, really? I worked with the Iconians because, at the time, I thought it was the best thing for my people. After we lost the homeworld, we were scattered, starving. A shadow of what we once were. What were we supposed to do? Beg the Federation? Or the Klingons for scraps? Pathetic! The so-called Romulan Republic has made their way. But they did it at the cost of Romulan dignity. Is dignity more important than survival? We are not refugees. We are Romulan. We needed a strong leader to bind us together again, and I knew I could be that leader. The Iconians were a means to an end. They gave us strength at a time when we were at our weakest. Had I known what Hakiv, what he and the Iconians did to our world, perhaps I would not have made the same decision. Uh, the Republic is thriving. You were in prison. Who made the better choice? Dwelling on the past is meaningless. I am here, and so are you. 
Today, our goals are aligned. We both want to stop the Iconian advance. You need me. I got some more things to ask you, but but anyway, fine. I'll answer what I can. You can believe what you want. Do the Iconians have a weakness so that we can exploit to help us defeat them? Hubris. The Iconians think they are the rulers of the galaxy. They thought so 200,000 years ago, when they were driven off their homeworld by the fire of a thousand races allied against them. They think so now, when they look at us and see us as children stumbling in the dark. They do not see our strength, our willingness to fight. Use their hubris against them, and the Iconians will fall. Okay, noted. I'll answer what I can. Okay. You can believe what you want. Do the Iconians have a master plan? I honestly don't know. Why would they share their plans with a prisoner? That may make me less valuable in your eyes, but don't be fooled. I know more about the Iconians' operations than they realize. Perhaps there's a different question you'll be more... Will be feel more comfortable in answer, answering. I'll answer what I can. You okay. can believe what you want. Where's the rest of your crew? Ah, the crew. The Alachi took them one by one and turned them into those things. Revolting. If I had known that was what they were doing with the captives from the colonies, I would have. Now who's dwelling on the past? Yes, you were asking about the crew. A handful of us were still alive when the station went on alert. We took a chance and made our escape. They died, nobly, as Romulans protecting their Empress. I will remember their sacrifice. Well, I think we're done here. Time to get back to our ship and you into that, into the Lassette's brig. Will I be taken into your custody? Or will I be left to Tiara's tender mercies? As I said, we agreed to the spirit of cooperation. Commander Chirac will take custody. She is under strict orders to deliver you directly to Elias' command. You will not be harmed. Although I wish you, although I wish that you somehow bump your head into a bulkhead. Very well. It's not like I have a choice in the matter, do I? Okay, Lisette, one to beam up. And we're finished here, so let's see if in the previous of set, although I think there will be a lot of negotiations between the Republic and the Federation before we know what will happen to her. Until then, we should report our findings to Admiral Tuvok and Elias Command. We have Empress Sela in our brig. When she was taken by the Iconians last year, many of my people thought she would get away with her heinous crimes against the galaxy. With her in my brig, I am happy to know that is no longer a possibility. Of course, I understand that the Romulan Republic's claim on her is not unique. Her crimes are against all of the Alpha Quadrant. To that end, I will ensure that she be made available to all the Alliance leaders for interrogation and debriefing. Well. That wasn't exactly what I'd call a walk in the park. At least we know exactly how the Iconians were controlling the Vaudoir. And you've certainly put a crimp in their plans. On the upside, as a photonic life form, I'm immune to any attempts at subversion by neural parasites. I'll see to the care of the captives we rescued. In the meantime, it sounds like you and the Romulan Republic Command have a lot to talk about. Sela certainly has a story to tell. But should we believe all of it? I'll put a bug in Admiral Janeway's ear about the situation. That was a joke, by the way. You're going to be busy. Don't overdo- Oh, who am I kidding? Command officers never take their doctor's advice. Just remember that you're not in this alone. Good luck. I suspect things are starting to get interesting. Let's return to Sector Space. I'll say one thing for Sela, when she puts up a, puts a scheme together, she doesn't think small. For now her fate lies in the hands of the Diplomatic Corps, Starfleet will be in touch once they've learned more. There's something interesting on Okay, before we continue... We have a situation on Kabali Prime. 
You and I were both asked by name to help. All that I've been told is that the Vaudoir have launched a large offensive and have retaken on, the area the in front of their temple. The place where they keep unconscious Vaudoir stored. They need our help to retake the area, though I have a feeling something else is going on. Can you help with the situation? Sure. Anyway, yeah, it, yeah. basically the holo holographic matrix, basically, after a certain point, basically, yeah, you could consider him an artificial life form, an AI. Oh, in case you're wondering about the Kabali, basically what they've been doing on Kabali Prime is with this... Basically, they set up a new world that they chose. Out for a second, out of navigate, and they've been. They found this quote unquote storage facility of Vodwar, and they've been converting the dead ones in the storage facility into more Kabali. And well, the Vodwar are not taking. Oh, they don't like that at all. But so any other dead. Dead bodies get turned it more into more Kabali. Now, there's also another thing that happened. I'm trying to remember the name of the episode. Um, give me one second. I need to alt tab real quick. Okay. I have to bring up the memory alpha wiki because I can't remember the name of the episode. No, it's not that. Okay. Where are you? Hold on a second, everyone. Okay. It was in the episode... Well, a little bit of context for the next one. There was... In Voyager... Epi or say season 2, episode 21. They were trying to avoid a certain, ter um, certain territory. And they got stuck into a spatial schism. Basically... The basically two ships in one place at the same time, and one and completely different circumstances. One Voyager was completely damaged; the other one was fine, but stuck. But both were stuck. Now, during the schism, a version of Harry Kim died. Basically, sucked out into space. Well. One of the Kabali there from, I forgot her name, basically um, seems to have found the body and decided to turn that dead version of Harry Kim into a Kabali. And this is going to be the result of this. By the way, the name of the Voyager episode is called Deadlock. And I only gave you a quick, dirty version of of the synopsis. It also gives you gives you a bit of information on this one. The breach is widening. I've got to close this now. Almost there. I just need a minute to.
There we go. And that's all the you need to know. making a new push into the system, and we could use your help. The Rhode Island is assisting the new Kabali flagship Samsar, but you know the Vaudoir. They're relentless. Why are the Vaudoir still attacking the Kabali? Ask them if you can get one of them to have a reasonable discussion. Eldex has been less than cooperative since Gaul's death. We know he's leading the remaining Vaudoir forces, and there's no signs that the neural parasites are still influencing them, which is the only good news. The Vaudoir won't stop their assaults until the Kabali surrender the remaining stasis pods, but the Kabali government refuses to do so unless the Vaudoir agree to peace talks. Unders We're at an impasse. Understood. I'm on my way, Captain. Gotta set them to attack. Yeah, Federation uniforms should have a mandatory, you need gloves. <laughs> Something grippy, of course. Several hours later, a large Vaudoir fleet attacked. However, I'm still not sure if the Vaudoir have entered the temple. If they have, they may already be reactivating their soldiers in stasis. We're safe here, for now, but the battle on the ground continues. No one can enter the temple, and the Vaudoir are seizing control of the surrounding area. Okay, we need to take it back. Captain Kim, Hanshan, Jadayan. The three of us are gonna go are gonna go in with an away team. Sounds like a plan. I've located a safe area in the trenches for transport. My team and I will go down first and secure the area. See you there. Will Voyager be coming to help us? Voyager is currently on a high-priority operation in Vaudoir controlled space. Any comm chatter could give away their position. Whatever they're doing, Tuvok says it's important. But that's all I know. Understood. Now, I'm Hansher Jedian. Can your t team aid us on the ground? My officers and I will join you. The Samsar will return to the dock with a small repair team, but I'm sending the majority of my crew to the city. We cannot allow the Vaudoir to take control of it as well. Our flagship will be of no use to us if the planet is lost. All right, the Obelisk 2 in Rhode Island will secure the system against any additional ships. And time to beam down. Do 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 have to wait. I think we're gonna need armor for this one. <laughs> there we go. Nice set of armor. The Kabali forces are spread thin, and the Vaudoir are making a push toward the temple. 
If I may, I have a suggestion for our plan of attack. What's your plan, Captain? Hanshin Jatanian and his team will attack the outer area of the trenches, making their way to the temple. My away team will move to the opposite end of the trenches and support the remaining Kabali soldiers there. While they're holding the flanks, your team and I will push through the center and strike the Vodwar in the temple courtyard. Can your, your thoughts? Can your away team handle this without your help? They're more than capable to deal with the situation. And any Kabali soldiers they find can help them secure the outskirts. We'll be the ones going through the heart of the battle. Good. Hanshan Jadayan. Do you have any objections? None. My team is eager to prove themselves. You and your allies have set quite an example for us to live up to. We'll support the forces at the other end of the trenches and then make our way to the temple. Hopefully we'll be able to meet up with you before the final assault. Very good, everyone. Let's move out. We have to help those Kabali. Let's get these Kabali patched up before more Vodwar get here. Take out that drop pod. Clear here. Let's keep moving. Let's take them down. Take out that Vodwar drop pod, and then keep moving. We're almost there. Our open area, which means I swap. Talk to him real quick. Our scouts report that the temple is heavily defended. We still have some Vodwar attacking our flanks, but my soldiers insist they can keep them occupied long enough for us to retake the temple. Sounds Are like... you ready for the final push? Sounds like there are other areas in the trenches that could use your help. There are other areas of the trenches in need of aid. My team and I could go help them while Captain Kim and his team stay with you. Or, if you think you can assault the temple alone, Captain Kim will rendezvous with his officers as well. However, I highly recommend you bring all of us in for your attack on the temple. My team and I will attack the temple alone. You, you and Kim are needed elsewhere. Are you sure you want to try to retake the temple alone? Yeah, my team and I can handle this. I'm confident in them. Okay, first. Go down. Hold on. That up.
That's one down. <laughs> the Magnificent Five. Yep. Okay, take items. The temple is secure, and the doors are still locked, which means the Vaudoir didn't break in, either. Let's see. Ah, uh, okay. I've seen this sort of algorithm before. I'll have the door open in no time. After that, we can figure out what happened to the temple's security system. It shouldn't have done this. Okay, good. Hanshaw Jatayan, do you need any support out here? I don't deny that we'll need support. My team is one of the few still intact. Captain Kim's away team should meet up with us soon, but we don't know what kind of numbers we'll be up against. However, the temple itself should be free of Vaudoir. If I may suggest, perhaps only you and Captain Kim should enter, and your officers can stay here and help us hold the area. Well, this isn't the first time I've been asked to leave my away team behind. We'll be fine. And time to enter the temple. At least all the Vaudoir here are in stasis pods. Let's take a look around. Gotta I want to know why the Kabali lost control of their security systems. Oh, wrong one. That's not what I wanted. Swap out the standard turn for the... Uh, for the ambush. Sounds good. Keep an eye out for anything suspicious. That's... that's not right. According to these readings, the occupant of this pod was... me? But the name on it is... Ketten. Must be a computer glitch. Could be a symptom of a bigger problem, but whoever was in this pod is gone now. Looks like it was open before the problem started. Hold on. I'll access the temple security footage. Maybe that can show us something. Let's see what's in the security footage. That's... that's me. But from over 30 years ago. What in the world? Stay back! Are you with the Vidians? What do you want from me? Ketan, you have to calm down. My name is Jet Laya. I'm here to help you. That's not my name! Where am I? Where is Voyager? I need to contact my ship. Wait! Come back! Jet Laya. And me? Hold on. There's more security footage. This is the last thing that was recorded. Voyager, this is Ensign Harry Kim. If you get this message, I'm in an unknown alien prison. I've escaped my captors, and I'm looking for a way out. I'll send another message with my coordinates as soon as I can. Come, come find me. That... that was me. From over 30 years ago, in my old Voyager uniform. And... they're turning me... him... into a Kabali. They knew. This whole time I've been here, they knew. And Lindsay? Jidlaya? She knew! I know I've had a difficult time accepting the Kabali, but they keep too many secrets. They should have told me. Told us about this. Hold on, uh, wait a second. A second, you how? A lot of strange things happened on Voyager's trip through the Delta Quadrant. During our second year here, the ship and everyone on it were duplicated. It was a freak accident, an encounter with a subspace divergence field we still can't completely explain. But two Voyagers sharing the same point in space time, it was a recipe for disaster. We tried to cooperate to find some way to save both ships, but... But you couldn't. I'm... I'm from the duplicate ship. Captain Janeway sacrificed it so one Voyager could survive. The other Harry was killed in a hull breach before that happened. Captain Janeway sent me and Ensign Wildman's baby to his Voyager before she self-destructed our ship. It made sense at the time. 
I'm Harry Kim. I have all my memories, my knowledge, same as him. We were exactly alike in every way. Except one of us got to keep living, and the other one didn't. And now that's changed. It's changed, all right. Best I can guess is that a Kabali ship must have found his body floating in space. It's a million to one shot, but Lindsay might have remembered our coordinates when we were duplicated and known where to start looking. They must have spent decades reconstructing him and putting him through their rebirth process. I don't know whether to be impressed or horrified. Okay, who's Jed... I'll go with both. Who's Jedliah, then? Jedliah was... is my friend. I knew her as Lindsay Ballard. She was an engineer on Voyager. We went to the Academy together. She taught me how to ice skate. We studied together and shared peanut butter sandwiches. And I was more than a little in love with her. Lindsay died on an away mission. The Kabali found her body, revived her, gave her a second life. But she still remembered Voyager. She tried to come back, but... It didn't work out, did it? Rebirth does more than rewrite your genetics. It changes who you are. Lindsay was different. She was Kabali. Eventually, she was convinced she should embrace that part of her. She left Voyager with her new family, and I never saw her again. When I was posted to Kabali Prime, I wanted to talk to her, just to see how she was. She didn't respond to my messages. Now I know why. I see. Will you be able to continue with this mission, then? I'll be okay. A little shaken up, but... Captain Janeway once told me, we're Starfleet officers. Weird is what we do. And this certainly applies. So, what's your opinion on the situation? From what we saw on the security footage, it looks like the other me has taken control of the entire base. That's not too surprising. Not only does he have all the knowledge of a Starfleet officer, the rebirth process transformed his brain. The Kabali's six-lobed brains give them natural abilities in mathematics, physics, wave phenomena, everything he'd need to know to do this. He's still wearing his comm badge, though. I can tap into it. You should try talking to him first. Try to calm him down and convince him to surrender. You don't want to talk to him? Not yet. He's already scared and confused. Seeing me before he gets his bearings, it will just make things worse. Agreed. I'll talk to him. Hold on a second, everyone. Need a f I have to refresh chat. Okay. It's loading, loading. There we go, you're all back. Anyway, let's hail the other Harry Kim, then. Starfleet! Wait, I, I don't recognize you. You're not from Voyager. And your uniform? This is a trick. I don't know who you really are, but stay away from me. I don't want any trouble. I'm just trying to get back to my ship. You can tell whoever you're working for that Captain Janeway's coming back for me. She won't leave anyone behind. Harry, we're here to help. This isn't a trick. He's severed the comm link, but I've got a lock on his coordinates. He's deep in the base, down in the old Vaudoir tunnels that even the Kabali don't enter very often. And he's locked down all the main corridors that lead to his location. There's a way, though. There's emergency climbing equipment here. The Kabali put it in a few months ago in case they lost power during the Vaudoir attacks. We could use it to cross the chasm and get closer to where he is. Okay, what will you be doing? I'll be right behind you. But it's time to see if I can talk some sense into the other me. He wants to contact Voyager, but if he does, he'll reveal their position. Unless we stop him, Harry either ruins Voyager's mission and possibly gets them killed or captured, or he finds a ship, sets a course for their coordinates, and gets blasted by the Vaudoir. Understood. I'll meet you on the other side of the chasm. I know you're confused. But you have to trust us. What is this? Another me? You expect me to trust a shapeshifter? It was 
let's open up the door. Stay back! I'm warning you! The circuits are completely fried. Let's find another door. Agreed. It's a little bit dark. So, I'm gonna replace that with this. Wait till the cooldown on that gets all done. Come on, hurry up. There we go. Nice floating light. Okay, open up the locked door. He's trying to override it again. Give me a second. Let's keep going. There we go. Yeah, it's a little bit too dark, so I'm keeping the light on for now. Let's get into the th intake fan here. Well, this is just lovely. Huh. It looks like he's modified the empty stasis pods to send out bursts of electricity. Tricky. I might be able to slow it down from here, but we can't stop what he's done without access to the main console, which is on the other side of it. I'll stay here and do what I can to delay the bursts, but you'll have to get past them to shut them down. Stay here, I'll get to the console and shut this down. No. Got it. You'll need to move through when they're in their disabled state. Oh, who are you? Why I thought you <laughs> trying to stop me back to my ship? I made a mistake. <laughs> it looked like it wasn't I'm, doing it, but I was wrong. I'm you. Harry, this isn't going to be easy to explain. Liar! You can't be Quantum duplicate. Remember the power failings? The proton bursts? There were two Voyagers. Two Voyagers? Yeah, right. How would that happen? Whoa, that was close. It was the spatial suit. Think, Harry. You know it. Nope, I wasn't moving fast enough. But that doesn't explain why I'm here, or why you don't want me to get back to Voyager. I'm... <laughs> it's been 32 years, Harry. You... You died. I don't feel dead. There we go. The Kabali brought you back. But to do so, they had to change your DNA. Make you Kabali. Good work. We should keep moving. Yeah. Harry! Jitlaya, are you okay? How did... General Cunell said there wouldn't be any more secrets. I'm... I'm okay. Harry... I didn't know they'd send you. How long did you know? Harry, I don't think this is the time! How long did you know? I didn't know when I was on Voyager, if that's what you're asking. We need to stop Ketten. He locked the rest of my team away. They're safe, but trapped. We're the only ones who can help him! Okay. It's good to finally meet you. My people are in your debt. We need to move fast. Ketten's not in his right mind. The rebirth process can be difficult under the best conditions, and... I don't know. Maybe humans resist the process more than other species. It took me a long time to accept who... what... Okay, Yoza. Okay, and he's having the same problem? Yes. 
He doesn't know what happened. I tried to tell him, but he still thinks it's 32 years ago, Voyager is lost in the Delta Quadrant, and we're in league with the Vidians. He's desperate to get home. When Ketten started tampering with the security devices, he tripped an alert that was sent to the Vaudoir. They think their soldiers are waking up, which is why they're so desperate to get inside. He's putting us all at risk. We need to help him. We'll do all we'll, we'll do all we can. Action item 238. Resurrect your best friend and give him a second chance for a long life. It's not working out so well, is it? Now you're trying to contact Voyager. Is that possible from here? I'm not familiar with everything in this area. We rarely go down this deep. There are still Vaudoir traps here that make exploration dangerous. However, as far as we understand, this facility was intended as a final shelter for the Vaudoir. It would make sense that they would have had a way to contact the outside world. But if Ketten finds a communication device and uses it to contact Voyager, the Vaudoir will hear his message too. What's your analysis, Captain Kim? Ketten is a danger to himself and to Voyager. If he succeeds in this gambit and contacts Voyager, he'll draw every Vaudoir in the sector to their coordinates. I can't allow that. We have to stop him. He's putting Tuvok and his crew in danger. Then we'll need to save them both. Just let me get back to Voyager! Well... It looks like this used to be a server room of sorts. But it's not like one I've seen before. All this is computer storage. And it's massive! 900 year old Vaudoir technology. It's a lot different from anything we have back home. And he's using this to completely block us out. Terrific. There doesn't seem to be a way around this. Can you lower them? I'm sure Jedlaya and I can figure out something, given enough time. But if I was on the other side of this, and I am, I'd be trying to stop anyone from moving these. There has to be some sort of reset command. But with our luck, it's on the far side of the maze. Jedlaya and I will keep Ketten from blocking you in. But you'll need to get through this and reset the servers so they return to their start position. Great, you keep working on it, I'll start finding a I think way I through. I can make you a door. Wait here. Turn on the light. One big giant wall. You're good to go. I'll monitor the area from here. I'm sorry this is how we had to meet again, Harry. I'm not marking hallways as dead ends. That makes two of us. You should have told me. And if we had, what would you have done? I don't know, but I had the right to know you had a copy of me in cold storage. Are you saying he doesn't have the right to rebirth? I... I don't know. This is all a lot to take in at once. I know it is. Imagine how Ketten feels. I have a good idea. Confused, angry, isolated. Ketten died trying to save Voyager, and it happened so quickly, he doesn't even realize what happened. He understood the risks, and he accepted them. Did he really? Think about the man you were then. Joining Starfleet comes with certain duties. I understood that then, and I do now. There we go, all taken care of.
continue on forward. It's not working. But if I do this, maybe I can buy some time. We have him. Ket, cornered. Without those platforms, though, we have no way to reach him. It's insane. He's manipulating these old defense systems like he's in a Captain Proton Hollow. Alright, I need you and Jetline to figure out how to get these platforms operational again. We have command codes that allow us to interface with the older Vaudoir technology. And we've never seen the need to replace systems that still work. But it looks like Ketten has made some modifications. I'll need to override his changes. The best I can do right now is to expose the central power cores behind each platform. Okay, it's a start, Captain Kim. What does this excuse me, does this give you anything to work with? Yes, it does. Ketten will be monitoring for any changes in the platform's functionality. But I can modify the central power cores to react to energy weapons. If you shoot the cores, you'll be able to power up the platforms and force them open. But you'll only have a short window before he resets them. If we want to do this, Jetlaya and I will stay here to keep trying to seize control of the network back from Ketten. And there's still that matter of the field protecting him. Emotional suggestions. When the Kabali first found this room, the old Vaudoir EPS systems were too degraded to handle all the power. They installed regulators throughout the area as a stopgap measure until they could replace the conduits. Basically, it meant that even if one conduit failed, the network would stay active. Those regulators are still in place, and we can use them to get to Ketten. What's your plan, then? Jedlaya has command codes we can use to overload the regulators. The chain overload will generate a wave of power that will build until it overloads the generators Ketten is using to maintain the field protecting him. Get these codes into four of the consoles and it will short out the field. Once he's distracted, Jedlaya and I can reset the platforms to their normal state. Anything else I need to know? One last thing. Jedlaya and I can run this program three different ways. The one that would buy you the most time before the platforms are reduced also takes the most of our attention. There's also a balanced option, or, if you don't like either of those, I can spend most of my time trying to counter Ketten's plans. What do you want us to do? I better save the Whatever sorry. we choose will determine how difficult it will be for you going forward. Better save the sorry. Focus all your efforts on this program. Are you certain you want us to focus our efforts on keeping the platforms operational? This yep. will give you about- Give us a few more seconds. We just... The cores are exposed. It's your move now. There we go. What are you doing? Are those command codes? Oh, interesting. Trying to access data on the new flagship. I'll keep an eye on him. That's it. Keep giving me the codes. Ooh. Whatever you're thinking of trying, nope. don't. We're almost there. Stand down before this gets any worse. Ow! I always hate this. Okay, respawn. Worse? How can it get worse? 
Ah. Ear itch. <laughs> oh. It's getting close to the end of my stream, so I am playing the ads now. I'm sorry about this, folks. And I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want my life back. Don't do anything you're going to regret. I'm going home, whatever it takes. There we go. You can't go to Voyager. You're too late. I'm getting back to Voyager, no matter what. This is bad. Ketten used Jitlaya's command codes to access the Kabali flagship in orbit and transport himself to the bridge. Not only that, but he has Voyager's coordinates. If he goes there, the Vodwar will see it as an act of war. He we'll won't... lose Ketten, the Kabali flagship, and probably Voyager too. He won't stand a chance against the Vodwar, not alone. Exactly. We have to stop that ship. I'll return to the Apples too. You should return back to the Rhode Island. I'm coming too. I helped find Ketten's body. I've watched over him during the rebirth process. It's my responsibility to help him now. Please, you must let me do this. I need to fix the mistakes I've made. Okay, very well. Go with Captain Kim and I'll be on the Obelisk too. Transport me to, my, to the bridge, Tarsi. Get me out of here. Voyager, and I won't let you stop me. I can arm this ship. Don't make me do it. I don't want to hurt you, but I will if you keep trying to stop me from getting back to Voyager. Voyager's an enemy in enemy territory. If you go there, you will die. You're not giving me a choice. Computer, arm all weapons and fire. What the? He's got no Setting a pursuit, pursuit, pursuit course. Ow. Give me one good reason why I can't contact Voyager. They're not on any secret mission in enemy territory. I found them. They're in something called Krenum space. I don't even know who the Krenum are. Harry. Voyager is trying to get home. Just like me. Harry, it's been 32 years. Two Vok commands Voyager now. A lot has happened and Voyager is on a secret mission. If you expose them, they could all die. Quit trying to confuse me. I know what year it is. I know who my captain is. Look at the ship's logs. I'm not lying to you. Ketten's not responding to Hales. But I think if I use the deflector dish to emit a pulse tachyon beam, I can disrupt his engines and force him out of warp. But he's going to be expecting something like that. Which is why I'll distract him with a bit of a light show while you send the real thing from your ship. Okay, start your distraction. We'll reconfigure our deflectors. He's out of warp and arming weapon. Get ready. Pray, you are in Herogen space, and that 
That is an interesting ship. Ah, a new Kabali battleship. We have heard rumors about the corpse collectors and their new toys. But this is Herogen space. Leave now and leave the ship as a trophy. We will see how well it performs in a hunt. The ship is disabled. The hunt will not please you. Perhaps. But wounded prey can be amusing as well. Or maybe I'll strip it and display its bones as a warning to intruders. You leave me no choice. Red alert! On. I'm going to. Fuck. I have to see Kenton face to face. I was trying to recall my. It's time to talk this out. Recall my things. Basically, we're going to be all confronting Ken. Basically, telling him the tr telling him the cold hard facts. On to transport. Maybe you should talk to him first. Try to calm him down. He's not in the mood to listen to Harry or me. Here, I'll go back to my uniform. I'll do what I can. Okay, we gotta talk, you and Why I- Why are you trying so hard to keep me from getting home? I need to- I don't even understand what's going on anymore. Why- Why do I look like this? Like them? They're called Kabali. You're- And you're- Well, you've become a Kabali too. Did you see the date on the logs? I saw the star date. What... What happened? How do I get back to Voyager? To my time? How do I get back to my life? Harry... You died. 32 years ago. And the Kabali revived you. But... You're gonna be Kabali. You, usually you will be Kabali. There is no turning back. I... I died? I... I can't remember. Why can't I remember? You're taking my memories from me. I won't! I won't forget! I can't forget Voyager. I cannot forget my friends. Even if you do lose your memories, your friends will never forget you. But Voyager... <sighs> Voyager is a part of your old life. Kedden, you have to stop this. If you contact Voyager, you'll... I'm done listening to you. I, I just want to go home. I want my life back. The life you stole from me. I understand. I wanted to be Ensign Lindsay Ballard. I loved my life, my friends, you. And then I died. And that life was gone. I tried to get it back, but... I would have been living a lie. So I should just give up who I am? No, I'm saying that life ended. But now you have a chance to live a new one. I'm going to be with you every step of the way. Action item 478. Help my best friend own the day. Every day. Even with everything I've done? Forgiven. We don't hold grudges against family. I... I can't tell you what to do, Ken. But the Kabali will be there for you. And I'll do whatever I can to help. Would you... tell me what happened? Voyager, and how you got home. About Mom and Dad and Libby. I think I want to know. Of course I can. 
Okay, that's all taken care of. Thank you for your help. Ketten's going to have a new life with us. A long and happy one where he can be whoever he wants to be. My people have been outsiders for so long. The other species don't understand us or what we have to do to survive. We want to reach out to them. Be a part of the Quadrant again. And if Kedden decides he wants to explore the Quadrant again? If Kedden decides he wants to leave Kabali Prime at some point, that's his choice. He can even rejoin Starfleet. But we will always be his family. Fair enough, Captain Kim. I'm happy for Kedden. He gets a second chance at life. A different one than what he had planned, but that's the way life is. When I graduated from the Academy, I never thought I'd spend seven years lost in the Delta Quadrant. Didn't think it would take me as long as it did to get my own command. Didn't think Lindsay and I would never... That's all in the past now. And it's made me the man I am today. Just like Ketten will be the man he's supposed to be. I'm glad you see it that way, Harry. I'm not letting the Kabali completely off the hook, though. Cunell told me there wouldn't be any more secrets, and then they kept this from me. If the Kabali want to be a part of the Delta Quadrant community, they need to be more forthcoming about who they're adding to their families. These men and women aren't getting a choice. Maybe rebirth is a gift, but it's a gift people should have the right to reject. Agreed. Good luck, Captain Kim. Let's get back to my ship. Ketten has been sent back to Kabali Prime to finish the process of rebirth. In the meantime, the Kabali have agreed to make their list of currently held bodies public knowledge. Anyone who wishes for their dead not to be turned into Kabali will have the body returned to them. Thank you for all your help with this. This was very personal for me to deal with, and I'm glad I had someone like you at my side to help me through it. All right. Even though I don't need it, I'm taking taking this, the deflector. I'm currently on leave from Voyager, and I was passing near the Hobus system in a shuttlecraft when I picked up some odd energy oh. readings. I took a detour to investigate. You know, you can't be too careful where Hobus is concerned. But I wouldn't mind some help. Can you rendezvous with me at these coordinates? Having a real starship here would be a big help. Okay. I'll hit accept. We'll head to the Hobus system, and then we're calling it for tonight. There we go. And let me just drag things over here. And let's end the stream for tonight. Well, I thank you all for tuning in. If you liked what you... What you what you've been watching? Please hit that heart icon down below and follow along. If you if you want to help support me, just subscribe. It, it's optional. I also have also this is my usual schedule. As you can see, it's usually Micro Online on Fridays, Baltic Advanced Series 62 on Mondays, and any game of my choosing on Tuesdays. Even though the Mondays are right now being any game of my choosing, and that's right now being Fallout Tale of Two Wastelands. But anyway, all streams start at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I also have a Twitter account when I, I post whenever I go live there, or anything interesting, anything interesting that pops in my mind. Also, give me one second, everyone. Okay, let me just... Ah, I see we're going to be raiding after this. And finally, this is my Discord server. Whenever I, I, whenever I go live, I post it there as well. And anything that happens to pop into my floofy head in mind there too, and also hang out with all you, all you floofy headed wolves. Anyway, we're going to be raiding Kimberly McBlaze, a VTuber, and she's also playing Star Trek Online. 
and it seems that she that she it's been a while for since she um that that, that she played uh Star Trek Online, so we're gonna be raiding them. Besides, might as well do something nice. All right. Well, I thank you all for tuning in. Please stay safe out there. Good night, everyone. Now let's get started with a raid.